Welcome to Sarogashima. This island is an hour from the mainland in Niigata Prefecture. And that that I'm looking at right in front of me is an old abandoned prison used between 1954 and 1972. What makes this abandoned prison special is that it's still in the original state that it was left so many decades ago. See, the walls are covered with vines. Look at that. This is kind of a, a quiet neighborhood too. And this area, Aikawa, is what it's called on Sarogashima, the west side of the island. It, it, it's uh, famous for the gold mine. So back in the Edo period, this was a booming town, a gold town, a mining town. And today it's filled with a lot of akia or abandoned houses. So you could walk down here towards the sea. If you see in the distance, that's the Sea of Japan down there and we're up on a hill. But if you walk down there, lots of abandoned houses. Some of them are available, so you can fix them up at a very reasonable cost. But we're gonna be going inside this abandoned prison right now. So for the next 30 minutes or so, get ready for an adventure. Here's the gate to it, the Aikawa prison. So nothing has been renovated, nothing has been repainted, everything is still in that old state, including the door here, the gate, and I guess it was made small so people would have to bend down to escape? I don't know. But it is, it's pretty tough to get in here. Of course they would open up the gate, I think, if they had trucks or something coming in here. I don't know. There's not a lot of information on this prison, so some of it I'll probably be making up or reading. There is a little bit of information inside of here, but not all of it is uh, explained. And all of it is in Japanese, so we'll do our best. Welcome. We'll, we'll explore some of the outside after we get a chance to look more on the inside. Here we go. Wow. So you can see the flooring here. All of it is, is original back from 19 before the 1972 um, eviction, where they had to leave here, and they went to another prison. Now, the purpose of this prison was that it was a temporary holding area, and uh, people were here for a short amount of time and went someplace else. Again, like this was a gold mining town, it was a booming town, so they often had bad stuff going on. In any kind of gold rush town, there were brothels, there was uh, gambling, probably things people wanted to use their money, and bad stuff happened. Thieve, uh, robbing, robberies and things like that. So they needed a prison like this. And actually, for the population, which was over 100,000 people, 150,000 people, I believe, back then, now it's down to 40,000, just a, a fraction, a small percentage of what it originally was. As you can see, there's some information down here. This is uh, all in Japanese. All right, we'll come back here later. This is where... The staff was, uh, and take a look there. There's some artifacts that are still in the original position several decades ago. Here's a restroom here. That's creepy, man. <laughs> that was pretty creepy. Do you want me to let you out? Let me out, please. Yeah, well, that's Jaya here from Tokyo Lama. How you doing? Yeah, good. What do you think of this prison? Uh, it's really interesting. Just yeah. seeing how, how cold it would be in here if you were staying here overnight. Yeah, the architecture is, um, I don't know, it's just, it, I guess it's 1950s-ish. It's not nothing really special. Up there you can see the electrical uh, telephone lines. What are these up here, I wonder? Electrical lines running through the roof of it. Fascinating. All of it made of wood, which made it very rare. It, it, it's very rare to find a prison made of wood, you know? In here, I guess this is where the, the guard was welcoming the prisoners uh we we came in through here so i guess you, you they would come here to register i don't know <laughs> it's not like a hotel to check it check in at a hotel when you came here usually you stayed for a while although this was a transitional um prison so i've been told so so you've been told uh you want to join me let's go all right let's go so Jaya's channel is called Tokyo Lama, and he does a, he's renovating an old Akia. 
right now in Ibaraki Prefecture. Here, it's interesting. Here on the side here, they have a, um, a map of Sado Island. It looks like a butterfly, which makes it uh, very easy to find on Google Maps. And this is where the ferry comes in from Niigata. Again, it's a one-hour jet foil ride into here. Where are we? We are up here. So it's about a 50-minute taxi ride or car ride to get across the island. This part's flat. Um, and then cut across the mountains to this side, Aikawa, which is the name of this town. And uh, the gold mine was up here, I believe. I, I believe it's up here. So the, a lot of gold. And the city of Tokyo, Edo, was, was financed by the gold that they took from Sado Island. Kind of spooky, right? This looks like another... Uh, Another room. I don't know what this is for. Just an empty, empty room. This is where they put the insane, the clinically insane. I don't know. In my mind, I just feel like all prisons were medical treatment prisons where experiments were conducted on prisoners. I don't know. Just it's the way my mind thinks. All right, here's the kitchen. We're going to check it out. This in here, we're, after we take a look at the kitchen, we're going to go in here. This is where the cells are and take a look. They are in the same condition that they were in 1972 when they, when they left, which is pretty cool. I like this. is haunted. This is so scary. I'm locking you in here. No. That's Hannah's mom. <laughs> Hannah, your mom's staying here. So this is the food, the pantry. Oh, this is the pantry here? So this is where, and like everything is just exactly how it was. Look at that. Yeah, but I guess they barbecued. I don't know. What do they, what do, they do here? That's Sumiyaki. This is, this is the co coals, right? So they yeah. would make hot water or something, I would think, there. And then I'm still, I'm still, my heart's still racing from that. <laughs> that was creepy. I found, I found something I really liked though. So whoever was in charge of this kitchen was also putting some flowers in this little vase. All right. So trying to make it a little warm, nice place, huh? That's like one or two flowers sticking out of that. Yeah. Interesting. And then they would hang their little washing towels here. And here's the place where I guess they cooked rice. Or they would bring in the hot water that we saw earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Still what in the original. Eat? Sorry, go oh, ahead, Jaya. Rice. What would they eat apart from rice? Rice soups, some kind of soups, things like that. Gruel. Gruel. That sounds gruel. awful. Yeah. It sounds grueling. <laughs> I made an episode on this on the main channel um, called Japanese Prison Food oh. Experience or something like that from, from uh, Abashiri Prison up in the north of Hokkaido. Uh -huh. That was the harshest of conditions because Abashiri yeah. being in the north of Hokkaido, it was freezing. And there's like yeah. like no windows. So oh. they had to like live in minus degree weather, which is crazy. This is like paradise compared to yeah. there. Although Sado is usually typically very cold in the winter. Yes. We're lucky on a day like this. Yeah. It's amazing. Look at the... I know. Look at the way it's like preserved in such... Yeah. Or not preserved, I, sh I should say. It's, it's just the way it was so many years ago. Unused. So I guess they would put the coals in the little space at the bottom. Heat up the bottom and these would be filled with pots or something. To yeah. Heat. Interesting. Really interesting. And they have the laundry uh, holes. Mm -hmm. All right. You can see the grounds around it. Again, like these are houses that are available to rent. I don't know if I'm gonna want to. Oh, here's the oven. I don't know if I would. I would buy a house here though, Ruth, because I don't want to be near, be near another prison. <laughs> There's probably some scary stories out of here. I think there would be. Do you know any of the scary stories? No, I don't. Want oh, to. I don't. I don't want to know. I can make some up for you. Yeah. They all, like, they all have medical experiments on prisoners and inmates. Did you see the medical room yet? Um, the medical room. Uh, let's go there last. Yeah. Here's the layout of, of, the, of the place here. All right, so the cells we're going to go into right now. And we, we entered through here, and we're going to be going to that place last. That's where the staff was, I believe. Okay. What was the name of this prison again? Hojicho. Hojicho. Aikawa Hojicho. Aikawa Hojicho. All right, let's go in now. 
we're gonna enter into the cells. There are 10 cells here, and each cell could hold three people according to the information. Um, so uh, about a total of about 30 prisoners, I, I, I believe. You can see the doors here have a little bit of, of um, metal in them. So these doors are look to be tougher constructed than these doors. Yeah. These have bigger windows. So I guess de depending on your crime, right? Oh, no, no, it doesn't. These are on the other side. They would close. Yeah, you can move those. You can, you can move these. I love the story, if you don't know, of, of Abashiri Prison's uh, escape. Um, one of the prisoners took miso soup over yeah. time, and he put the miso soup onto the bottoms and the top of the metal, and the miso soup ate through the metal, and he was able to oh. bust out. <laughs> right? Yeah, and through the roof, you said? I believe like so. Like this, I I bl this roof is cool. It's pretty neat. Yeah, something like this. Similar kind of roof, and then he left, and... I guess they captured him again, and he came back to the prison, but he used his skills on how to escape to help the prison, and they gave him some leniency. Okay. Don't know the story huh. completely. I forget. But. They stopped giving him ramen, um, miso soup, though. I, I, believe, yeah. I believe he might have worked in the restaurant or yeah, something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm but not yeah, sure. Yeah, you're right. It feels cold. Like, yeah. it wasn't that cold outside, but it feels very chilly in here. It's colder inside now. Wow. Like, the ghosts. Look at the old tatami mat from the 19th. 50s, 60s, 70s, it's still intact. You should go in and look at the old toilet. I don't think so. You go in there and you look at the old toilet. It, it'll hold you. Right, you can focus. You can see the details of this old tatami mat here. There are people, many, many people lay on that. And many crooks, that and... robbers. What do, they, what do they do to get trapped in here, Ruth? I don't know, maybe fighting? Fighting or attacking. Stabbing somebody? Stabbing. Or bludgeoning somebody. Yeah. yeah. That's when you, you hammer somebody with a blunt instrument. It's awful. awful. Don't even want to think about the kind of crimes that they committed. So, Jaya, do you see, are those all bells? Are they, what is that? Each cell has something to do with it. Maybe that's the letter bell. It's, it's, in, it's, it's very, very interesting to me because it's um, not really touched at all. They've made no effort to fix it up and present it in a way to, that is filtered, I guess. It, this is raw. Totally raw. It's so raw. Look at that sink. It's all nasty. Last dude who did it probably was in here for murder. All you can do is speculate. We really, there's no records. That's the, the toilet right there. These cells are a little bit smaller than the other ones across the way. Still, I believe it was it, it held three people. No, that can't be right. That can't be right. John, this is where they gave food. Oh, through there. It still moves. It still moves. That's where they would pack the food. Whoa! This reminds me of that movie Papillon. Do you remember with um, Steve McQueen? Yes. Yeah, Dustin Hoffman. Oh man. What is that? Each one has it. Oh, it's probably something. Look on the top there. There's a string that's attached to something on the roof there. Do you see? Something pulls out. It's like a tray or something. Maybe it's the tray. Try to pull it up. Oh, he's doing it. Does it come all the way up? No, it just comes out like this. Maybe that means like if the person has been served their food or not, do you put it up like a mailbox or something? Could be. We could, we can only really speculate because interesting. There's not a lot of information. I'm curious to know how many prisoners were in cell number three. Um, cell number two is more spacious, and I believe there are three in here. Maybe that was a single. We're allowed to walk in here. You can pretty much walk anywhere. There's no rules, I don't think. Here's the old sink. And this is the... the Toilet. You said it, sister. Toilet. 
That oh, there you can still see in the bottom. No. Yes. There, there's no poopy, but you can see it. I'll give you five dollars if you put your hand in there. <laughs> what? I will totally give you five dollars. My hand? You, but you have to go all the way in, touch the bottom, no. and swirl it. <laughs> it's deep. It's deep. Yeah. I like they, they've got a door, but it's still glass, so... Uh, yeah, that's true. I can't even see the bottom. So, so, five bucks wasn't enough, huh? No, no thank you. Yeah. No thank All right. you. <laughs> Cell number six. Again, like, everything is, is the original here. Nothing is... is like it's in, in in the state that it was left in when they abandoned it in 72. And, and they, Ruth, they moved into another prison yeah. nearby. They, they still have it open. There's some other holding prison on this island oh. somewhere else. Wow. Basically, the main prison would be in Niigata or on the mainland, right? So this is yeah. where they held people before they sent them over there. Yeah. To send them to the slammer. Yeah. This is the slammer. This is the pre-slammer. So you sent to this slammer and then to the another slammer. Room. The medical room? Oh, where the experiments took place. I mean, two beds are there, so people would All right, there, there is some information here. The Imushitsu to Jikyo Bowl. Not sure what any of these oh. rooms are. There's some beds here. And um, did they have mattresses or they just slept on planks? I'm sure they had mattresses. Just Must have like been. Thin little thing. Must have been. And this is where they did the experiments. I don't know. Somebody told me that they thought it was where they weighed people when they weren't feeling well and they had to sit down. That sounds more um, humane than my thinking. But that is thinking. a tiny weighing machine. That is very people tiny. People were small. Look at the wheels on it. No, that can't be because it only goes up to five kilograms. Wow. It's prison. What would you weigh on this? I don't know, but the wheels are going to bust off, so don't try to sit yeah, on no. there. Wow. Well, so it, it, it couldn't be for people because it only goes up to five kilograms. Okay. What was it, like animals? Could prisoners have pets? Medicines? Oh, medicines maybe. No. Yeah, well, they have the seat. Yeah, well, Look at that seat. Oh, that's so scary. Sit there. No. For five dollars? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to sit there. No way. Because that stuff's not going to get off you. You're going to buy new pants. I know. Who sat in there? Was it the doctor? He would watch. He would torture the people and watch them from the chair. And he dug his fingernails in here. That's why it's taped up. My grandfather had a couch and he went like this. And he dug a hole into it. from doing it. Sadistic. What are all these drips on the wall? That's scary. Blood stains. That is actually... We need Dexter in here to examine it. Oh. Yeah. Lots of drips on the wall. I don't think that that's, that's post 72, I think. Really? I don't know, actually. They, there weren't in any of the other rooms. There's no information on this. No. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. It's creeping me out too much. And look at that little kid was here with his dad and he didn't look creeped out at all. Yeah, he was just like, okay. He doesn't understand. He hasn't watched enough medical Prison movies, but torture. It's that movie Hostel. Did you ever see that movie Hostel? No. Don't watch it. I don't even want to go to, to Europe anymore. It's awful. They kidnap backpackers and do experiments on oh, all no, this stuff. No, 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 no. Let's not talk about that. No, okay, sorry. You're creeping out. She's already getting creeped out. What's this? This is like the, the old footal. Yeah. This is the bathtubs. And t t t t traditionally, Japanese bathtubs are like this, like a washing machine, looks like. Yeah, exactly. You you'd get in your full body up to your, your shoulders in here. Oh, and here they have the rules. Not stretch it out. They have the rules for the uh, Oh, it's bath. still there. Whoa. The bath. Chuijiko. The you original rules me? for bath time. Don't have a pleasant conversation with other people in the bath. So they would come <laughs> in here. They would come in here a lot, with, like many people at once. Don't have pleasant conversation. Like, what? Well, it doesn't say pleasant. How, but how do you do, sir? Like, how's, your yeah. liver? How's, your, how's your liver? You know? It's not, it's not it's pleasant. Kind of it's, okay. it's like, um, uh, zatsudan. Zatsudan, not pleasant. Zatsudan is like, 
random conversation. Uh, oh, like, okay. Just keep don't it... do any small talk. No small talk in the bathtub. Don't put your towel in the water because it's it's rude and it's not hygienic. You're very strict. Uh, Steve McQueen would put his towel in the water, I think. It was Steve McQueen. He would do it. Anything else interesting in there? You can't wash your body in there. You have to wash outside and then get in there to heat up. That makes sense. It's Japanese style. It would have been style. so cold yeah, to wash your body outside because they don't have heating in here. Oh, I'm not going to go to prison here. No, thank you. I don't either. If I'm going to prison, I want to be in a house arrest. <laughs> do you get a choice? Oh, this is with the Benjo. You yeah. see that the sign right there? Benjo yeah. means um, outdoor toilet. So the Benjo, that's an old term for toilet. Now we just say um, uh, toilet <laughs> in Japanese. They must have had a little room, like a little booth or something. Like yeah, that. like way out there. That's where they buried the medical experiment inmates that didn't make it out there in the courtyard. What? I don't know. Well, you said make it up. <laughs> I'm just making it up. I, that, that did not happen, okay? I'm making up a little bit. This is really old style um, fire uh, extinguisher items. It has not been repainted since 72, no. maybe. Oh, Two hoses. That's how they give them their first bath and they get the prison. Maybe. They hose them down and they, they lime them with kill all of the, the lice in their hair and stuff. Prisoners never take care of themselves. Right. What's, oh, this, uh, this is uh, maybe the staff toilet. I think that might be new, 72. In the 50s, I don't think they had that kind of a toilet. True, true. Yeah, but over the decades, they had more modern amenities. When you do come to visit, it's free to come here. You can sign in. Oh, I'm sorry, Leave I have your name. the name right now. Okay. It's called Kyu Aikawa Kochi Shisho. Kyu Former Aikawa Holding Center. Kyu Aikawa Kochi Shisho. Wonderful. Your Japanese is very wonderful. All right. Um, this is the new person checker room. Yes. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I get a meaning of what it means. So when, when you're a new inmate, you would come in here for examinations, like I think. processing room or something. Yeah, processing room. Um, that's a big room. Let's go to the right here. Start with the small room. You can only imagine what this room was for. Um, pff, torture. Shakedown. 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 Derobing. De There's some information. Anybody can maybe want to read that. Is the exercise done? Is that right? Oh yeah, exercise. Yep. Here's a map of the area and some information. Um, just very basic information. It's nothing. It's outside the courtyard here. It does look like something's buried back there, Ruth. I know. Jaya, what do you think? They're moles. They're moles? I think you're moles. optimistic. I think that they're... That's where the zombies have tried to come out <laughs> and they get hammered back down. Someone stays here when a hand comes out of these unmarked graves. Takes a hammer and knocks it back down. Stay here tonight. I'm not staying here tonight. I'm not staying anywhere near here tonight. Old safe. There's no sign that says, doesn't say do not touch. You can touch it, I guess. Uh, uh, does anyone know the, if someone can crack the one, safe, two, three, four. I don't think it's one, two, three, four, but it's literally, it's locked. So you need the combination to open it and it still works. Breath. It's really clever.
didn't work. You don't know the code, huh? No. The combination. I tried. Where they would stay when they had to spend the night. Well, oh, they yeah. always had somebody on the call, right? Staff. Yeah, staff. Uh, yeah, this tatami mat looks a lot newer. Probably th this was installed before 1972, obviously. Um, but the doors look original. The, the Nothing has changed here. The screen is uh, hammered in with nails and looks like a storage closet here. There's an old sign. Old prisons are pretty cool. They are cool. There's just so much to see. I know. But this is fascinating right here. Do you see these? These, these are old bottles that look like they haven't been touched, yep. not even by visitors since 1970s. Yep. This is Kashuna? Kashu, Kashina. Like, it's paint thinner, like Shinna. Shinna for like cleaning, I guess. Shinna, Kashu Shinna. Kashu Shinna. It's a thinner to wipe something down that's very scary to even think about. Kalashina, another type of... Boy, that looks so old. Wow. I don't know if I... I... I can live, this is kind of a comfortable room. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's compared to some of the other rooms, like the prison cells. Yeah. This is a 1K in Tokyo. <laughs> this True. is going to be a 1K in Tokyo. Um, I, I'm guessing that whoever was in charge stayed in this room and it's a little bit more spacious and comfortable. It's up, it's raised up higher. There's a closet here to put some stuff and there's a bell here. Looks like you'd be notified if something did happen. It's on the wall. The writing is on the wall. Actually, it's in the closet now. And uh, what's it saying here? Uh, yeah, it looks like the boss. These are these are what you put in um, Shukujo sama. This must have been when somebody was visiting. I don't know. I know. Hojo to nandaro. And then this is like a list of what was in storage. So you had to write down wow. exactly how many and what was in each the, each bit of storage. Wow, this is really old. It's so interesting. You don't see this like this. And there's nobody really to protect this. This is actually a Japanese cultural um, uh, treasure, like a property yeah. for the government. And they, they don't... Put any care into You're it right. because it, look, it says Toroku Bunke Bunkazai. Here, look. There. Okay, there's some information here. What's this? Bunkacho. Oh, it must have been the certificate to say that this is a Toroku Yuke Bunkazai Zan. From the Ministry of Culture. What is your impression of this, Jaya? What do you think? I think that I would not like to stay in here with all these cold concrete walls. But it's really cool to see. You can sort of imagine what it would be like back then because it's so well preserved and it is just as is. You can really feel the history. Gives me the creeps. Yeah. At night it would be very scary. Do you think kids come here and mess around like teenagers? Say, so, hey, let's go make out in a prison, baby. <laughs> I know a good place to do it. 1972 tatami mats. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So <gross. laughs> hey, look. I am who I am. <laughs> what are you so... It's not and that if funny. You, and if you need to go to the bathroom, it's right next to Right just do it. <laughs> no, no, no. Just let it go. Just do it right here. And it's actually let a it sexy bathroom because of glass windows, right? Oh, jeez. Those, those vines are scary. They are pretty creepy. Scary. 
I don't know. Could you use the vine to climb the wall, do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I bet you somebody could. Somebody could. Somebody could. Yeah. That has. Do you want to walk out towards the um, cemetery in the back? Was there a cemetery? I don't know. In my imagination, there is. And I think that the hands of the undead came through and somebody with a shovel knocked them back down. And then Jaya ruined my fantasy. He goes, oh, they're just moles. <laughs> They probably it's just, not a big deal. Anybody who just passed it, they probably no, just put sure it in this. They probably just put the zombies. They gotta be zombies. I don't think anyone's walked walked through here since the 1970s. It looks pretty nasty. Ew. My my feet are sinking with each. But you know what? I'm not gonna make my way to the no, medical either. prison cemetery. We're just gonna leave it right here. No. This is not the execute, dude. Dude, that was. <laughs> oh man, no. <laughs> This is where the kitchen is on the corner here, so I guess the fire from the stoves would come out this way. And that's the entrance to the underground place where the zombies are living, and they come out at night. That entrance right there. Oh, is there a dungeon? Wait a minute now. I it, I don't think that there's, there's there might be some things unexplained. No, they can't be. This is where they would put some of the inmates that were bad in this holding cell. Be like really oh, gross. that's so nasty. That's a sewage. Oh, that's Oh, gross. that's so gross. Dude, I'll put your hand down there. I'll give you 10 bucks. Do it. Spend a night in here. I'll give you 50 bucks. You can spend a night. What is so funny? Hey, that's a le le legitimate challenge. 50 bucks. <laughs> Hard currency. Cash. Tax-free. Spend the night in there. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? That is crazy. Challenge. That 50 bucks will have a special meaning. It, it's more than just the $50, Ruth. It's symbolic, okay? It's <laughs> totally true. Yeah. Oh totally. my gosh, this is so fun. It's so interesting. Not if you were an inmate. So we'll, oh, let me just take you around this back and then the back side uh, this way. Maybe there's an easy entrance to the cemetery. There's not really a cemetery, guys, just oh, so you know. There's something else that leads to the underground dungeon. That's a well. That's the well. Or is that the, the Johnny on the spot? Oh, there's a secret door. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, there is. The thing is, there's not a lot of information on this on this prison, guys. So well. We've been a little bit, <laughs> a little bit making stuff up, but... Uh, we don't know too many of the stories. A lot of this stuff um, has not been written down anywhere. So we, all we know is the history that it... Look at that door. I know. Fascinating. You could kick through that now, right? You could kick through it now, but... Yeah. But most of the history of this place, we just don't know. Just 1954 to 1972 was in operation. And... That's what I'm talking about. That's where the hands came out of the ground. Yeah. And the keeper with the shovel would knock them back down. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... It's probably moles, as Jaya says. It kind of ruined it for me. Sorry, John. It's all right. It's all right. It's probably better that way. Here's the back of the prison. It's kind of neat. Um, so there you go. This is free to enter. Uh, sometimes it, the gate will be closed. Where, where would you go? I guess that to tourist inform this information center. Yeah, at the bottom where we started. Yeah, at the Kirari Room. Yeah. Kirari Room. Yeah. So if you go to that, to the, they might have the key. You have to ask yeah, for the well, key. Yeah. No, well, they you, they just ask someone to come and open it up for you. If it's not open, you could open it up. But yeah. it, it's it's open during the day. Probably somebody comes and locks it up at night. Probably yes. So if you have a fantasy of spending the night here, don't <laughs> do it. Okay, it's so for your good. own benefit because we don't know what is actually in the back. Yeah, and you do not know here. what's going to come out of that well. It's, I'm telling you. It's true. St oh, is that the well? Night. This is the well. Are you sure? Fifty dollars is a lot of money. No, thank Ruth, you. Ruth, this this one's not as deep. I'll give you thirty dollars for this one. <laughs> well, they had to put in a permanent grate to keep the zombies from coming out at night. See, the other one was just on top, but this one's prisons. Permanent. Has there been a prison zombie movie that I missed? I don't know. Um, has anybody seen the Camaro Tomaruna? That was a prison sort of fake zombie oh. movie. That was interesting. Very interesting. Look at the wall. Somebody busted through here with a tank or something. Yeah. There's so many stories that need to be told of this place. We just don't have that information. Yeah. Um,
Definitely. Do you think there's some old timers in the town? Yes. Who's the oldest yes. oldest guy alive? Is there? Tomorrow we will meet one of the. It's probably know. knowing Japan. The oldest person alive is probably a woman, first of all. And. Um, <laughs> 122. Yeah, I wonder if she has some stories about the prison. So the name Mukashi Mukashi. A long time ago, the prisoners were. Well, there was a prison break, and that's why they had to shut it down. They all went through the east wall. Yeah, exactly. By tank. Yes. It's good, yeah. but it's not really a true story. But I don't remember a lot from the Taisho era. <laughs> all right, so there you go, everybody. This is the Aikawa prison. It's pretty neat to come here. It's one of the attractions of Sado Island in Niigata. Um, Japan has got a, a ton of abandoned prisons. This one is on this island, and it makes it kind of a special trip because it's in its original condition from the day that they left in 1972 to move to another place. And it's the one of the only prisons made of wood, which is weird because you just kick down the wall or something, right? I guess they weren't too tough in this town because this is San Quentin. Yeah. No way. <laughs> this is San Quentin. Yeah. Oh, man. People be wa wa running down the streets. And it has an ocean view. So it it's does. A special. In the winter, it must have been super cold up here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. These are all, these are, um, this street here, a lot of them were abandoned houses. And uh, there's something of a rena um, renaissance going on here. Mm -hmm. You can hear already there's some saws and. Um, people cutting wood to, to rebuild these buildings and that's kind of a neat thing to see. There's a cafe, there's a movie theater. We did in a live stream earlier, uh, about 20 minutes ago, <laughs> we finished it. But we're gonna upload this later as a premiere so you get a chance to experience the old prison. Anything you wanna add? Well, I'm just so happy to have everybody join us here. It was great to spend time with you. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks for inviting us. Uh, Ruth, it was a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking us to an abandoned prison. Yeah. <laughs> Highlight of the tour. You're lucky I didn't leave you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you think about it, <laughs> it's pretty creepy. Oh, there he is. He's making this is going to be a cafe, you said? Yep. It's going to be a cafe. That's pretty cool inside. We're going to be tomorrow in another live stream. We're going to take you inside of some of the Akia. <laughs> We're going to take you inside of some of the Akia to take a look. So definitely subscribe and uh, make sure the notifications are on always. Click the like button if you like these kind of, this kind of content to encourage me to do more of it. And I'll see you in the next live stream. By the way, Tokyo Llama is Jaya's channel. You're going to want to check that out. Yeah, check it out. I'm renovating an Akia. That's right. Bye from Sarugashima. Until next time.